The NBA offseason is in progress, and we have a good understanding of the situation. We know which teams are likely to buy players and which ones are likely to sell players. Among them, the Toronto Raptors are most likely to be sellers. How y'all doing? My name is Jeffrey, and without further ado, let's dive right into this video. So most of the attention is on the Toronto Raptors, or in another word, the Canada team. They are in a really favorable position to make a trade just like any other any other team around the league they're filled with talent a lot of win now players definitely capable of achieving success if we can do the right plays but the downside of this situation is we had a really disappointing 2022 to 2023 season on the other hand the utah jazz could land us potential buyers or sellers we don't really know what utah's next move is so here's a deal that has them acquiring og and ob from the toronto raptors so the trade insists of the Toronto Raptors receiving Colin Sexton, 2025 first round pick Cleveland via Utah, 2026 first round pick Utah, 2027 first round pick Minnesota via Utah. So the Raptors are receiving Colin Sexton and three unprotected first round picks in return for Utah Jazz receiving OG and Anobi. Why would the Utah Jazz do this deal? Well, it's challenging determining Utah's next move and the front office really needs to closely assess the current roster, which has a lot of depth but lacks a first option offensive player. And one question they might be considering is whether or not Larry Marketing can fill that role. Let me know in the comments. To continue, if the Jazz are looking to win now and are looking for an elite 3 and D wing, this trade involving OG and Anobi could be the perfect move for them. And Anobi is known to be one of the best 3 and D players in the NBA. And last season with the Toronto Raptors, he averaged 16.8 points per game, 5 rebounds per game, 2 assists per game, shooting nearly 40% from 3 and 48% from the field last season. And on top of that, 2 steals per game. And his addition can significantly improve the Jazz's odds in winning more games and contending far into the playoffs and even potentially contending for a championship well why would Toronto consider this deal well essentially the Raptors have lost Rev and Fleet and free agency to the Houston Rockets and that has questioned Toronto's re rebuilding routes and while they can find a replacement in this trade and have a lot of assets towards the draft it's still risky to invest further in the team that missed the playoff sadly towards the Chicago Bulls and at this point, they have two options, and that's either competing now or rebuilding for the future. And I feel like the better decision is landing a young full-time replacement for Van Fleet, and that is Colin Sexton. Colin Sexton, he has a different play style, completely different, but at times he has proved that he could become a star guard or even a star player. Moreover, he is only what, 20, 23, 24 years old, making him already a young and valuable asset for the team's bright future. Last season, Colin Sexton helped Utah average 14.3 points per game, 2.2 rebounds per game, 2.9 assists per game, 50% field goal percentage, and nearly a 40% three-point percentage. Well, at the end of the day, this isn't the main point. The primary focus of this deal is that Toronto is receiving three unprotected first-round picks. Well, that's three young and talented players. And if the team really values Ananomi more than this deal, this probably means they have no intentions of trading him. And for now, all of us Raptors fan, we really got to observe and be patient to see how the whole Pascal OG situation plays out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.